All right, so the men's draw has just come out for the Australian Open, and there are some very interesting first round, second round matches. Of course, some very fun potential quarterfinal clashes and semifinal clashes too. Well, let's go through the players that are pulled out because we do have a couple of big names that are not going to be playing. All right, so jumping over and seeing, you can see we've got Stricker. He's pulled out, not going to be playing this Australian Open. Unfortunately, a good young player that we're not going to be able to see. Uh, Nadal, biggest name out of the tournament so far, pulled out because of the hip injury. Then we've also got Opelka. He's pulled out as well with injury. And Kyrgios still just can't get that wrist right out with injury as well. But let's go have a look at the top of the draw and see who plays who. So starting with the top seed, but we got 32 seeds in this one. No one gets to buy in the first round. Everyone's got to play every match. Novak Djokovic plays a qualifier. How good is that if you're a Djokovic fan? You'd love to see it. Winner of that's going to play an Aussie in the second round because there's two Aussies going at it, Popper and, and Pullman. So it could be an, an awkward second round for Djokovic, but, you know, either way, he knows how to beat Aussies in Australia for the most part. Uh, then you got Hampton taking on Monfils. Winner of that will take on either Echeverry, the 30th seed, or M Murray, who's unseeded. Could be Murray versus Monfils second round. Winner plays Djokovic. So that's a bit of a veteran section. Then you've got number 20th seed, Manorino, taking on Vavrinka. Speaking of veterans, both those guys, I think 35 plus. Very, very interesting section. Winner of that will take on either Shevchenko or Munar in the second round. Then you've got O'Connell taking on Garen. Winner of that will take on either Batista or Gu. On the number 16 seed, Shelton. That match is interesting because Shelton's got the firepower. Batista Agu's got the grind, like he's a brick wall. Very fun matchup in a first round, of course. If you project it out, it could possibly be Djokovic taking on Shelton in a fourth round, which we want that rematch. We want to see who hangs up the phone this time. Then the next section of the draw, you've got number 12 seed, Fritz taking on Acosta. Winner that would take on either Bayana or Goyo, second round. Then you've got Marijan taking on Chilich. That's a fun one. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the 22nd seed, Sarundalo, in the second round. Then you've got the 25 seed, Musetti, taking on Bonzi. Winner of that will take on either Duckworth or Van Aish in the second round. Then you've got Vukic taking on Thompson. Winner of that will take on possibly the best match of the, of the first round. Berrettini, former semi-finalist, takes on City past the seventh seed, former finalist. That is insane. Berrettini, a year ago, was top 10, or maybe 18 months ago was top 10. Now he's unseated, plays City Pass first round. Insane first round. And of course, you can see, you know, there are a couple of tough unseated players too. Thompson, who beat Rafa last week, of course. Very tricky. Chilich on the comeback. We'll love to see it. Made a final here back in the day. Of course, the other seeds are pretty dangerous too. But this section will take on the Djokovic section in a quarter final. So we might get Djokovic taking on City Pass. Rematch of last year's final. We could be getting Djokovic taking on Fritz. If we want to go uh, with something a little bit different, or maybe even if Musetti can get his stuff together, Djokovic Musetti in a quarterfinal and having a good run at a slam for the first time, really in his career. But really interesting section. I don't think it's tough, but it's it's there are some tricky matchups there. All right, let's go to the next section of the draw. We've got number four seed Sinner. He takes on Van der Zandtrup in the first round. That's a little awkward for Sinner. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Cashin in the second round. Then you got Gallon taking on Kublov. Winner of that will take on either Wolf or the number 26 seed Baez in the second round. Then you've got the number 17 seed Tiafo taking on Chorich in the first round. That's five sets for me. That smells like five sets. Winner of that will take on either Mahatch or the qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Tabilo taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Altmaier or the number 15 seed Hashinov in the second round. Of course, Hashinov made the semifinals here last year. Tiafo made the semifinals at the US Open a couple years ago. Very fun section. Sinner's got to like that, though. I mean, Tiafo, Hashinov, Baez are not unbeatable. There are a couple of tricky matches there for Sinner, but Sinner would like his chances getting through. He did lose to Altmaier at the French Open though, so he probably doesn't want to play him anytime soon, but I, like, I think Sinner's got a nice draw. Next section of the draw, you got Dimonor, the number 10 seed, taking on Raonic. Damn, okay. Uh, winner of that would take on either Naldi or Walton, the wild card in the second round. Then you got Kotov taking on Rindanish. Winner of that would take on either a qualifier or the number 18 seed, Jarry. Then you've got Korda, the number 29 seed, taking on Quali. Winner of that would take on either Hellas or another qualifier in this section of the draw. Then you've got Eubanks taking on Daniel. Winner of that will take on either Vilch or the number five seed Rublev in the second round. This section seems a little trickier because you've got Korda, who did well here last year. Rublev, who also met the quarterfinals last year. Dimonor, who's been on fire. And of course, that section takes on the Sinner section. So it could be Sinner, Rublev. It could be Sinner versus Dimonor if we want to go uh, jump on the hype train. Uh, and of course, this section will take on the Djokovic section in a semifinal. So Djokovic, Sinner. That's the one that I think we're all maybe hoping for, or at least the, the true fans are hoping for. Uh, could be Djokovic taking on Rublev, though. We did see that last year in the quarterfinals. Uh, I mean, if you want to go, again, jump on that hype train, it could be Djokovic versus Demonor in a semi. And you know Australia's going to go mad for that one. 
that's going to be really interesting, I feel, to see who actually gets through. Bottom half of the draw, we've got the number eight seed, Runa. He takes on Nishioka in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Jera or Kazo in the second round. Then you got Feast taking on Vesely. Winner of that will take on either Safulin or the number 28, Grixpoor. That section stacked with some really dangerous players, especially for Runa. 21 seed, Umber, he'll take on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Zong or Korya. Second round. Then you got Shapovalov taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on another qualifier. Or the nine seed, Hercatch. Hercatch, Shapo, second round. I mean, again, that kind of feels like five sets if Shapo's back. But this section's interesting. I mean, Runa, Nishioka can be awkward. You know, Safulin, we know what he can do, even though they did play last week and it was, you know, it was Runa's win, but that could be awkward. Of course, her catch Runa, fourth round. I mean, love to see that. That would be really, really fun if we could get that fourth round. Next section, we've got the number 13 seed, Dimitrov taking on Fuchovic. Winner of that will take on either Ovna or Kokonakis in the second round. Then we've got Matera taking on Borgas. Winner of that will take on either Lestian or the number 23 seed, Davidovich for Kina, the second round. Then we've got FAA. I wish Ali seen the 27 seed. Take it on Dommy Team. If your team, if you're a team fan, that is the perfect first round because FAA hasn't been good for a while now, almost 12 months. Also been injured, and Dommy Team, he needs someone to gain some confidence off, and that might be the one, especially at a slam. Beating FAA would be a big deal. Winner of that match takes on either Muller or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got uh, Kipson, the wild card, taking on Rusavori. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier. The number three seed, Medvedev, in the second round. Medi's section is interesting because you do have Dimitrov, who's been in great form and beaten guys like Runa and Medvedev. Rusevori is in form. Could be a dangerous second round for Medvedev. This section will take on the Runa section in a quarterfinal, so we could get Runa taking on Medvedev. We could be getting uh, Runa taking on Dimitrov, like we did in Brisbane. Or if you want to go with Medvedev getting through, it could be Medvedev her catch in that uh, quarterfinal. If you want to go with the big seeds, of course, there could be unseated players coming through as well. Bottom section of the draw now, bottom quarter, we've got Zvera, the number 16, taking on Koffer. Winner of that will take on either Quan or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Makab uh, versus Mikkelsen. Winner of that will take on either Marais or Lehechka, 32nd seed in the second round. Then you've got the 19th seed, Nori, taking on Varias. Winner of that will take on either Lajevic or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Purcell taking on a quali. Winner of that will take on either Ramos Vinoles or Rude, the 11th seed in the second round. I've got to be honest, Rude's draw looks kind of good until the Zverev match. I mean, Lehechka's Zverev third round sucks for Zverev. So that could be an interesting section. Zverev should get through, but, you know, Kasper Rude? I don't know. Next section of the draw, the bottom section, the last section, You've got Tommy Paul, the 14th seed. He takes on Barrea. Winner of that will take on either Giron or Draper in the second round. Then you've got Kitchmenovich taking on Watanuki. Winner of that will take on either Hitchikata or Struff, the 24th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 31st seed, Bublik, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either McDonald or Jerry Song, uh, who we all love to... We have to watch him, hopefully, at this round open. The wild card from China uh, in the second round. Then you've got Evans taking on Sinego. Winner of that will take on either Gasquet or the number two seed, Elkaraz, in the second round. Look, Gasquet is a tough name. But also, Gasquet is like 38 years old and Elkaraz should get through that. Of course, Paul for Elkaraz is a very dangerous player in this section. Fourth round, potentially. Has beaten Elkaraz a few times. I did beat him last year as well. Of course, this section will take on the Zverev section in the quarters. So we could be getting Elkaraz taking on Zverev in the quarterfinals. We could be Elkaraz getting rude in the quarterfinals. Uh, or if you want to get away from Elkaraz and say someone else, it could be Zverev taking on Paul. And of course, this section will take on the Medvedev section. So if you want to go with the big names, Elkaraz Medvedev rematch of both the Wimbledon semis and the US Open semi. Uh, or you could be going, going with Alcaraz versus Runa if you want to go with the future of tennis. Or if you want to go again a little bit random, you could go Alcaraz versus uh, Hercatch. Or if you want to jump on the Medi bandwagon, maybe you get Medvedev versus Zverev, current, uh, the current generation, if you want to call them that. Uh, maybe Medvedev versus Paul or Medvedev versus Rude. Man, it's it's going to be an interesting draw. I don't think it's simple for anyone, but I think it's also manageable. But who's going to win, chat? Who do you pick? for this one because Djokovic has got the is the obvious favorite I think with the draw as well now it's like well there's only a couple of players if he plays bad if, if the wrist is as bad as it looked maybe there is a dangerous first round or second round but I think Djokovic is still the the clear favorite I think Medi's section is real awkward I don't know I just feel like that's where the that's where the awkward matches are I mean obviously Elkris hasn't got an easy first round but let me know who do you think is going to win the Australian Open for the men's side of things and also who do you think has got the worst draw in this tournament there it is Australian Open draw done and dusted now let's get it on on Sunday. The first round starts a day early.